What is up, everybody? This is your guy, Kali, and welcome back to Budget Buys. And today, we're going to be talking about this. This is the Enter Button Pillow from Five Below. It's part of their Unlocked Level brand that they've recently been putting out a lot of new stuff in, and they did it. The mad lads actually did it because this is not only a pillow, it is a 1% keyboard. They jumped from 60% all the way down to 1%, skipping things like a 40% ortholinear and other such keyboards along the way. Okay, yes, technically they did have a one-handed or 50% keyboard in there as well, but that came out before the 60%, so I'm not going to count it. Side note, that keyboard is actually $5 on the Five Below website right now. I don't know if it's that cheap in physical stores, but if you're going to be ordering anything from FiveBelow.com and you still haven't tried out the one-handed keyboard, I definitely suggest giving it a shot, thanks to the flat rate shipping. And no, I'm not saying pick up everything they have on clearance, because this is also $5 on their website right now, and you don't want it. Okay, let's get back to being serious for a moment, because while it sounds like I was joking about this being a 1% keyboard, if I flip the box over, you can see that it actually is a real enter key. Also, for those of you unfamiliar with the shape of this enter key, it's done in the ISO profile, which isn't regularly done here in the United States. It's more common in Europe. But the fact still remains that this is a functioning enter key. Also, a functioning pillow, as shown right here with the fact that it is soft sponge. Now, let me go ahead and get this out of the box and show you what we're working with. I'm not even going to go through the rigmarole of doing an inside the box portion because this is literally all that's inside the box, the pillow. And at this point, some of you are probably wondering why this even needs to exist. And I really can't give you a concrete answer. Pillows like this have been on the market for a while now. I should know I've been thinking about getting one even before making this video. But they're usually in the $15 to $20 range, and while some people think that's a good price for it, it was a little rich for my blood for something that is ultimately a novelty gift item. However, with this being part of the Unlocked Level series, it is $5.55 at 5 below. And as of the recording of this video, it is not currently on their website, though that might change by the time this goes live. Also, when I first picked this up, I thought it was a miniature version of the one on Amazon because in a lot of the promotional photos like this one, it seems like it's pretty large in the hands for the person showing it, and their hand is casting a shadow on it, so Either it's a real photo, or that is one amazing Photoshop, and you don't see that very often in Amazon promo pics. However, I took the time to measure this, and if the listings are to be believed, this is the same size, at one-third the price. And those dimensions are 7.5 inches, 5.5 inches, 3.5 inches, 2 inches, 3 inches, 4 inches, and four inches. And if I pull up another one of the promo photos, it's pretty much the same thing, though either myself or the person making that photo might have a slight rounding difference. There is one big difference between the ones that I've been seeing online and this one though, and that's on the back, because right here there is a zipper. And I've seen pics from these listings where the zipper's open and you can see the sponge inside. But the manufacturer seems to have taken the pull tab off the zipper, and no matter how hard I try, even if I were to attach something to it, it seems like the zipper has been glued shut. The others don't seem that way, so it's just kind of weird. I really want to take this apart and show you the internal mechanism, but at the same time, I really want to keep this for myself. Maybe if this video does well, I'll pick up a second one of these and rip it open for you, but for now, you're just going to have to make do with the fact that this is a chonky pillow 
with something inside that makes it act like an enter key. While I can't show it to you, you can actually hear it though. I don't know if my mic picked that up, so let me just bring that in. Now let's show you this thing in action just to verify that it does work. So what I've done here is plug the pillow into my laptop along with an external monitor, and I've got a keyboard testing website pulled up. And as you can see, every time I press down on the pillow, it shows the enter key being activated. Now it is location sensitive, but you don't have to apply a ton of force to it. However, you can if you want to, because it's a pillow. Now let's talk about 1% keyboards for a moment, because that's not something I made up as a joke for this video. No, they exist, though, as you would expect, they're usually about the size of a single key. And they're also not as cheap as $5.55. The one I just showed you cost me about six bucks, yes, but I had to provide my own keycap and I still need to sit down and learn how to code this thing. It's from Adafruit and it is one of their full DIY deals, not just a put your own cap on it kind of deal. I need to learn the CircuitPython programming language in order to properly use it and I am absolutely terrible when it comes to coding. Fortunately, I also have this 2% keyboard and it's good to go right out of the box with the keys being fully customizable. That one only cost me $15. So yeah, this 1% keyboard is a steal. Though, obviously, it's not mechanical. I mean, I guess it kind of is because it sounds like it has a little leaf spring in there. And it's pretty clicky, so... Does this qualify as Five Below's first mechanical keyboard? You be the judge. But back on track. There are multiple reasons why people, myself included, want 1% keyboards. It could be as simple as a, because we think they're neat. I'm kind of guilty of that. Or because we want to make them into macro pads. I'm also guilty of that. Set the key up so that when you hit it, it runs a certain script or a program launches. Some people even use them as little secret login devices where when you hit the key, it inputs your password. And it's a very convoluted combination that nobody would get otherwise. And it is tied specifically to that device. And while technically this is only an enter key, there are programs out there that allow you to change up what this is bound to. Programs like HID Macros or its successor Lua Macros. And there's also Auto Hot Intercept, which is based on Auto Hot Key, but it allows you to rebind the keys on a specific device. Typically, if you have more than one keyboard plugged into your computer and you rebind the enter key, you're rebinding the enter key for all of the devices, and that's not generally what you want. I'm not going to be doing any of those in this video because there are quite a few tutorials on the topic. Just type in DIY macro pad or DIY stream deck and you'll have plenty of things pop up. Maybe I'll make a video on that topic at a later date, but as of right now, the only other 1% keyboard I'm planning on making a video about is the 1% keyboard which I'm not actually gonna show you here. You just have to wait to see it. And with all of that out of the way, I think I've droned on long enough about something that's really meant to just be a novelty gift item. As for my opinion, I really like this thing. I definitely like it more at the $5.55 price point than the $15 to $20 price point. And if you know somebody who is obsessed with PC gaming, keyboards, or just sits at their desk all day using a keyboard, you might want to think about picking this up for them. And on that note, until next time, this is your guy, Cly, signing off.